Hey guys, what's up everybody? Rai Show is coming! Hey hey, do you remember this guy? Um, oh, a beetle? Yeah, Fred Stack Beetle. Fred Stack Beetle. I made a, a video uh, about it um, 10 months ago. 10 months ago? I remember. I that. remember video 27, yeah. right? Mm. Yes. And so today you want to give us um, actual information about this beetle? No. No? Of course not. And what are you going to introduce today? Let's check out the longest stack beetle in the world. Longest stack beetle? Whoa! Check out. Wow, look at it. It's a very, very big difference. Yes. Well, who is this guy? And it's a giraffe. Stag beetle. Giraffe stag beetle. Yep. Wow. So you mentioned it's the longest stag beetle in the world. Bingo, bingo. In the world. Yes. What's his world record? Uh, from um, one hundred and twenty-three millimeters. One hundred and twenty-three millimeters. Yeah. In the world. Um. Yeah. So the biggest it, one. The biggest longest one. one. Longest one. And. What the uh is a male or female? Male, of course, male. And how about female? Um, female from thirty-one millimeter to fifty-six millimeter. Thirty-one, but actually, female yeah. is uh, much much smaller, right? Yeah. Male is from thirty-five millimeter to one hundred and twenty-three millimeter. So male also can be smaller. 35 millimeters, mm. right? Mm. Because this guy, this guy is almost uh, 30 millimeters. Mm. So the, this species of giraffe stag people can also like this size. Um, yeah. But usually big. How long is this uh, giraffe stag beetle? Uh, almost 100 millimeters. 100, wow, it's big. Mm. Well, yeah. well, how about its color? Color. Yes. Uh, usually, it's, colors will be black, but look at his eyes. Compound eyes. Okay. Oh, a little white. Yep. So their compound eyes are white, white and red. Red. Two type. Oh, two type. Two type. But this type is a white one. Uh, yeah. Okay. And how about his unique, <laughs> very unique shape? Mandibles, mm. yes, and it's very are, special. Yeah, and there are some. Oh, I forget. Uh, later, I'll tell you something. Okay. Uh, before, after this, okay, mm. his mandible. Yes. Uh, there are, uh, how to say that? A lot of uh, area I can use it. Spines? Uh, yep. Yeah, it's long and uh, very, very. Mm. Very, very. Uh, scary. scary yeah. <laughs> very sharp. Very sharp. Mm. Yes, it's true. And how come, how come stag beetles, they have uh, so special mandibles? What's that for? First is for fighting and uh, defending. Defending, yeah. fighting. So they use this yeah. stag to fight yeah. against the other creatures or maybe uh, same species mm. also. <laughs> yeah, and defending, right? Defending, yeah, it's true. And any other functions? Other function is uh, um uh, how to say that uh, mating. Mating. Yep. They met with this part. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it's for fighting and uh, against uh, another man. Other males. Yeah. Oh, when they are uh, when they are in like a co courtship, when they are in courtship, yeah. they need to compete against the other males. What's that for? Uh, for female. Attracting female. Yes. Attracting females because they need to reproduce, uh, right? Mm. Oh, that's why they they can uh, use the mandibles, right, mm. to fight against the other males. Mm. Others. Others, and also for uh, food, but not for this guy. For food? What mm. do you mean for food? Um, 
And maybe uh, they want to break the tree bark. Or maybe we can we have to say what's their food. <laughs> their food is a tree sap or fruit. So they feed on fruits or um, uh, tree sap. Yep. Um, what the, why it's related to their mandibles? Um, because uh, their mandibles can break the um, how to say that? the trees uh, tree box or oh. the fruit pier. Oh, pears. Oh, so they they break it down. Mm. So let the saps flow out. out. Ah, so they can, how can they eat? And never uh, get uh, use they, use their brush like tongue. Oh, brushy, brushy tongue. <laughs> to, to uh, touch the fruit. To or lick juice. it? Yeah. Oh, lick to lick the step or, or juice. Mm. Oh, that's the right way. So, because they only uh, eat uh, or drink, maybe drink that juice or step, mm. so they don't they don't take a poo, I think. No, only we we. Only we we. Check Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just uh, take a take a pee? No, no, it's not mine. It's a giraffe spectacle. Oh, giraffe spectacle. Okay. So there are three uh, purposes. Um, like you mentioned, the defending, fighting, and mm-hmm. the second one is mating for mating, and then third one is for feeding. Mm. And the last, uh, no. uh, yeah, last one is for. And then uh, help the only female. Only female. Helping them to uh, get into the tree box. And why? Why they need to get into the tree box? You lay me lay female. Eggs. Lay eggs. Yep. Oh, so why they lay eggs in? They lay eggs in the tree. Uh, the how to say that? The um, broken trees. Decaying. Yeah. Decaying, decaying tree. Trees. Decaying wood. There's a, it's not a, 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 a living tree, it's a decaying. Yep. Decaying. Why they lay eggs inside? Um, because uh, uh, their baby lives inside. Oh, they're larvae. Yep. They're larvae feed on the decaying wood. Mm. Oh, it's very different from rhino beetles. Yep. Right? Rhino beetles, larvae. Chaffers. Yeah, chaffers, they, they are living in the soil. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's different. So that's that's why. They, and check out check out his mandible. It's a so so you know unique. Maybe it is a very very I don't know mm-hmm. very aggressive their <laughs> mandibles. Wow, it's open. Yeah. So do you want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a a pinch you. Dare you do it? Are you sure? No. Uh, okay. No. Why? No. Why? Uh, because uh, just like this. Yeah. Like this. Uh, 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 easy. Yeah. Easy. And easy. how about this? Uh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, because uh, it's very very long. The mandibles are very very long, so it's difficult to to pinch, right? Uh, uh, but uh, if it is, it will be very hard. Uh, you, you have tried already. Yeah. <laughs> very, very hurt. Mm. The shorter one, the shorter mandibles can be very powerful. Yes. But the longer, the longer one actually is, they look uh, aggressive, yeah. Yeah. scary. But actually, it's not that uh, powerful. Yes. And so they use this uh, to flip, uh, flip, 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 lift, to lift uh, other. Uh, Stag beetles. Just a little. So this is the concept of one kind of machine. Do you remember that machine? And, uh, <laughs> and I forgot. Forklift? Uh, yeah. Forklift. Do you know forklift? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, this is a, it's, it's an idea, right? Yeah. We mimic them, right? Mm. Biomimicry. Yeah. It's a biomimicry. We mimic them. So do you want to show us how they eat? Ah. What's that? Apple. Hold on, let me make it be juicy. Ah, uh, bec- can they use their mandible to break it down? Um, difficult. Difficult because it's too long. So you want to make a juice come out? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Ah, not easy, right? Yeah.
को दे दीजिए I can see his uh, uh, brush tongue. Brush that tongue. Mm. Brush tongue. But uh, did you make uh, any juice? Mm, yeah, but um, maybe not a lot. Mm, not a lot. And let's try another one. Okay. Another one. Uh, Oh, I can see the brush tongue. It's leaking now. Hmm. It's leaking now. Hmm. Did you see it? Yep. So actually, his uh, uh, long mandibles, his long mandibles are not convenient for it to uh, fit, right? Mm. <laughs> because, uh, I don't know, it's just uh, too long. Yeah. They're too long, right? Yeah. So you need to help it to break, the, break down the fruit. Uh, or maybe uh, we need to cut the fruit. Yeah, yeah. So now he, he is enjoying his food. And we don't uh, annoy it, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's finish it. Mm. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>